Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 74 of Ocean Block. In today's episode, I'm so excited. <laughs> I got to discover new things about uh, Mechanism, so that was pretty cool. Um, let's go have a look at what I've been up to. Uh, in between episodes, I was pretty darn busy. Uh, I wanted to actually go down here first. Um, this is the HDPB Pellet Production Platform. <laughs> um, all of this is being fed by uh, carrots producing biofuel in the crusher. Um, Got a little exporter here, it's pulling in the carrots. Uh, and then the biofuel gets sent to this pressurized reaction chamber. It's going pretty fast because I got upgrades, uh, speed and energy upgrades in all these machines. Um, uh, this is getting water put into it. This water um, from the top and then from the right. It's getting hydrogen. Um, and then together with the biofuel, it's producing substrate, and you can't really see it. The ethylene is getting, uh, you can see it flashing for just a split second. It's getting put into this uh, chemical tank. I had to add this because it's a choke point. Um, if I don't use up this ethylene fast enough, uh, it will stop the system up because this will uh, uh, this will back up and it won't it won't use up the hydrogen <laughs> anymore, which then will back uh, up this which means it won't produce any oxygen and then if it's not producing oxygen it can't uh, feed substrate. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I had to add the tank and just if it gets full, have it dump, uh, dump the excess. Uh, what was cool about it is this electrolytic separator has, uh, its own dumping excess button. I didn't know that. So that was pretty cool because, um, I needed to dump the excess oxygen from here because it uses way more hydrogen than it does oxygen. Uh, so luckily <laughs> it has its own uh, dump uh, button and I didn't have to add a tank, but I could have added the tank back here. Uh, so that wasn't a thing. Um, then the ethylene gets put into the rotary condensator and produces liquid ethylene, which then gets put into this pressurized reaction chamber, which is being fed uh, the liquid ethylene and then oxygen from the electrolytic separator. Uh, and then the pellets are being pushed in through the top. Uh, that are also getting uh, sucked out, put into the system in the back, and then brought back into the system <laughs> up here. Um, so that's pretty cool. I had to, gosh, I had to increase carrot production because the one plant that I had would not keep up with this. It ran me out of carrots in just very little time at all. It's so fast. Um, let's check out the HDP pellets. Um, oh look, we've already got one and a half K. It, it hasn't been that many hours of playtime since the last episode. Um, I've just been sitting there monitoring it and then um, once uh, I could I'd come back and check on it every once in a while and then see where it was caught up and I had to um, had to add a tank here 
that uh, sucks off excess oxygen and dumps it uh, so that the system doesn't get backed up because of that. Uh -oh. So that's pretty cool. I was very, very happy that this didn't get too crazy. I had to put a power cable under that guy. Uh, but that's it. It's producing a lot. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, I have uh, the speed and energy upgrades in each one. I also taught the system how to make the, the energy upgrades. So I can just come in and request eight of each. Also, I made eight of these gas upgrades and I was gonna put them in one of my machines and none of these, all of them use like gas, but none of them will take the upgrades. So I was like, ah, it's only, uh, this purifying factory that can has so that I've seen can take the gas uh, upgrade. So I was kind of sad about that. <laughs> I wanted to be more efficient. Uh, so then, once I was done with that, I upgraded this power pot, and boy, let me tell you, it's fast. <laughs> It's, it went from like uh, the other plants, they're like a minute and 20 or 30 seconds, but this guy does every 20 seconds, it gives 32. So that's twice as good on the yield and it's less than half the time. So it's, it's. And uh, it's still running, it's sucking this thing dry. Um, it's, it, yeah, it, it has been on constantly because it's not filling up. So, <laughs> that I'm just glad that it works, even though it doesn't have 110,000 FE a tick. It's sufficient enough to run the, the power pot Mach 2. Mark 2. Um, so that's cool. Let's see, what else did I do? Um, I finished up the botany garden. Like I said, I had to plant some carrots. So all of these, all 23 of these plants are producing carrots. Um, also, I just sit in here and watch this thing. Look at it. <laughs> it's like a constant barrage of items onto this ender chest. It's great. I love it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. This is exactly what I imagined it would be. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of turning the rest of the uh, the floor into glass as well so uh, I, I was thinking about putting uh, four more plants here on this side and four more plants on this side and that could get me 32 more plants in here which I think would be really cool get some more pipes going over here up through this way I think it would be great um, yeah uh, so I still have these other three levels the inner ones to fill up uh, so I'll be looking to try and figure out what to put in there next um, plus I want to put the, the other 32 in, so that'll be 32 more slots. Uh, it's going to be great. Tons of stuff coming in. <laughs> um, I have been working um, on the matter condenser, trying to figure out how I want to do it. And look at it go! 
Uh, did it tick over? It did. Okay. Because uh, I want to remove this. And remove this one. And just put some pipes there. Boop, boop. I was really pleased to see that these things um, see the chest with a pipe coming off of it. That is pretty cool. So it doesn't just have to be uh, whatever's on top of it. Um, so this one's just about to tick over as well. Um, what I want, what I want to do is try to figure out how to get this pipe. duper fast ones to pull this out because it's going to take it a long time to produce um, a singularity you know what I'm saying um, so I just want to like be able to see the pipes and just put the ender chest on top there and be done with it but um, <laughs> it's just kind of a, kind of a flex I guess just to say um, haha let me do this not enough we'll probably have another 11 cobble gins on this side oh look there it did its rollover now look how fast it's coming in that's pretty good that is pretty quick but it's still not going to produce 1500 very much so i'm going to have to i figure uh, i could put these matter condensers like uh, spread them out on uh, these different levels like this So, and then um, just add in more cobble gins as, as I can. I can even put the drives in and set them up right uh, so that I don't uh, forget about it. gonna look awesome. I'm thinking just put the glass to all the floors. Just glass and wires uh, running everywhere. That's all I want to see. Just want to see it work as like a whole system. Ah! 
There we go. Now I don't need, know that I need it to be this fast, but I, I didn't know it would go that fast, but um, it sure is getting it to there as quick as possible. Uh, so it's not getting backed up in here or anything. It's shooting it out as fast as it can make it. Yeah, that's good. Oh my goodness. Um, so how many more do I have? I have three. So we could, um, guess we can put in three more, we'll probably do that in between episodes, um, put in three more of those and just look to eventually fill them all up. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. So that's what I've been working on um, in between episodes. I hooked all those up. I haven't really got a chance to make any more cobble gems though um, because I noticed that it is already made. It was making up uh, the HDPE so quickly that I wanted to go ahead and make the singularity. Oh, and I wanted to do that on camera. <sighs> I got it, I got it. Um, uh, so, let us only work with the redstone signal. Oh, I wanna put that off. go. Okay, shut it off. Boop. Oh, look at it go. Now I know that it's up there. I'll keep it clear. So I can see the progress. <laughs> Behold, the wonderful singularity is being formed. this back into the system, then get my stuff situated, um, like so, oh it's still going. There we go, an HDPE sheet singularity, nice. Um, there we go. I did another quest with something else, miscellaneous. Oh yeah, I upgraded the power pot. The awesome power pot. Ooh, an ender chest. Nice. Nice and useful. I like it when the things are useful. And here's the HDB sheet. Manolin seeds, nice. Um, didn't have that one. I don't know I have that one. Terra steel chest plate. Well, oh, I'm already over here. Actually, none of you go in there. Um, you could come over here and we can bop out to the 
Britannia. Put this away. I think it's this chest. Another chest plate. <laughs> oh. Oh, let me grab some more glass while I'm out here. That would be cool. Because I want to I wanna get those uh, parts uh, in the compact machine replaced. Um, and I'll actually put these in the system. Uh, so that's cool. So we got that singularity done. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Um, so what are we looking at next to try and do? We have this whole row. Um, cake looks like a challenge to get that uh, automated. Angel core singularity. Angel, okay, an angel, angel wand core. And okay, we can get rid of all of these because our HDP sheets are done. We got our power pot mark two, um, which wasn't too bad of a recipe. Uh, wasn't too expensive. It didn't take too long. Uh, so I may look at upgrading the other three since it does appear to be working with those uh, reactors uh, it's maintaining them uh, it's feeding the hungry power pots uh, so I'll probably do that in between episodes now that I see just how good it is <laughs> it's so much faster um, so yeah, I'll do that in between episodes, get the other three upgraded, and let's look at this. Whoa, feathers. I think I may have some feathers out at the mob farm, still out there, um, but I currently have no income. Ooh, Make them with chicken essence. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, so we would need uh, to teach it how to make feathers because I think I have some out of the mob farm. I'm not sure that I have enough for like four singularities or worth. Let's let's go to Batania. There they are. Thirty one stacks, nineteen hundred. So um, not not a whole whole lot. We can put them all. Uh oh. No! I'm stuck. <laughs> um. I can't believe that. Okay, I forgot about the range. Zoom! Okay, that, that was even less than I thought it was. <laughs> Alright, so we have some feathers. Not a lot. Uh, enough for like one singularity, uh, but not enough to 
maintain it, but I think, I think I have chicken seeds over here. Chicken seeds, yeah. go plant these gotta figure out where I want to plant this. I guess I guess we can put it out on the barge. Just replace one. We just had like uh, our Inferium Essence like quadrupled. Uh, so I could probably remove one of these. Like this guy here. He doesn't need to be there. Now we can get chicken. Oh, look, it looks like a little chicken. Oh, that's so cute. It's got a little beak. Ah! Get me up here. I was perfect. I could see it. And now it's. Now it looks different. Alright. So we got the chicken seed planted. Um, that'll help us get prepared for that. Looks like we should have um, everything else. We need to teach the system uh, to use, to make the glass panes. very much. Get you wiped back in the system. And I can throw that in there. So cool. Uh, we could make this now. And we have production coming in of the feathers. Uh, I'll need to teach it how to use the essence. That got more one chicken essence. Um, uh, that one looks full. This one has is making the sheets, so it has a spot open. Feathers. Fly. Go. Now it'll automatically turn our essence into feathers. Um, and then we'll be able to make another one. So let's see uh, about the angel wand core. 
Can we make 1,500? Yes. So here we go. Boom. Oh, wow, that's so super fast. Oh, it's got no processing because the glass is being made. Don't even have to process the glass. So <laughs> let's go get this other singularity done. Oh, it's a single, like the potato, the capacitato. So this will take a while. Um, <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, that is pretty cool though. We got another singularity done. Um, pretty amazing. I like it. And now, uh, we have these this whole row of vacuum tube uh, we're producing terra steel uh, so and the blazing capacitor is almost done i still need to get silk touch for this uh, for the exchanging gadget and then i can start um, zipping through some of that um, that'll be kind of cool Um, I'm just trying to think of a way to gather that as much as possible. I don't know. I still have to get the silk touch, which I need. Um, I just need books, really. Uh, I could get tons of levels. Uh, I have. Um, I have all that experience. The I'm condensed. What did I do with them? Ah, compressed, not condensed. <laughs> I have uh, almost two stacks of that, and that's like 700 levels for one pearl. So, experience is not an issue. <laughs> um, so, I need to just make some books, I guess. Um, <laughs> Wherever will I find more? Um. <laughs> Wherever will I find more? I don't know. I am uh, wondering if I should have a passive mob farm because I'm starting to utilize a lot of this stuff, although. I should probably not fill up. Too much since I know I'm out of range. I guess I could just go back. Okay. There we go. Uh, so let's grab a pearl see if we can get uh, 
silk touch. I think I'll need some lapis. an automatic way in uh, industrial foregoing. I keep wanting to call it my factory reloaded. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I need to look at that. to the the automated versions of those in between episodes because I need to get that silk touch on the exchanging gadget to do dents. Uh, I think it will be a lot more um, automated feeling <laughs> if I had silk touch and could could harvest the whole bunch all at once. Uh, so yeah. Uh, how do you gather your dense uh, the dense stone? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.